Hello, my name is Mr. Fay, and I want to run you through a demonstration that you may have missed today from class. It has to do with thermal expansion and contraction. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to light up our Bunsen burner here, but you might not be able to see that well. And I'm going to start off with a uh, common experiment with using a ball and ring. Now in this situation we have a ring and we have a uh, ball. And the way that they're made, the ball just fits through the ring perfectly. It easily slides through without any problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ball and I'm going to place it in the flame to heat it. And I'm going to take the ring and I'm going to place it into some cool water. Now, as I heat the ball, particles inside the ball start moving faster and faster. It gains kinetic energy. And as it does, it pushes on those particles a little bit more. As the particles push on each other, it causes it very slightly to expand. So as I leave this here in the heat, particles will move faster, and this object should expand, even though we might not be able to see it. Over here, by placing the ring in some cooler water, uh, we've caused those particles to slow down. When particles slow down, they don't push on each other as much, and it allows the object to contract a little bit. So now with the ring contracted, or smaller, and the ball expanded, or larger, when I go back and try to do the same demonstration, it'll be more difficult to get the ball back through the ring. So let's try it here. almost makes it. Not quite. So you'll notice if I take them and I place them into water, you're able to take them apart. Second demonstration, which in my opinion is a little bit cooler, uses something called a bimetal switch. Now, it's called a switch because it's commonly used in thermostats and turn signals for cars, but basically it has two different metals. Metal on one side will expand and contract quite a bit as the temperature changes. The metal on the other side doesn't expand as much and contract as much when cooled. So what happens is when you place it in the heat, which I'm going to do now, the side that has the metal that expands more readily will expand, and then the side that does not expand as much will maintain its uh, volume. So what happens is after heating it for let's say 30 seconds or so, the piece of metal winds up being bent. So this side right here expanded quite a bit, and this side over here did not expand as much, which leaves you with this, this bent piece of metal. Again, commonly used in the thermostat for houses and things like that. So as the temperature increases, it will uh, turn your furnace off. And then as the temperature decreases, your furnace can turn on. It's also used in the turn signal of cars and is very often the clicking sound that you hear. Uh, electrical current runs through the switch and uh, as it gets hot, it will turn the light off and then as it's no longer connected with current, uh, it will cool and then turn the switch back on, which is the click, click, click that you'll hear in a uh, turn signal. What's kind of cool about it is it does happen relatively quickly. So if you'll notice, this is bent as it is heated, but if I place it in the cool water, it quickly straightens. So thank you very much. Check out other videos on facescience.com.